breaking, 200 just found dead overnight and now Trump is about to address the nation. In the United States, we take the loss of life very seriously. Just recently we experienced the largest mass shooting in our history, and the death toll was just under 60, but that was more than enough to enrage the nation. The largest terrorist attack on you. S. Soil had a death toll at around 3,016 years later, we're still not over it. Those numbers are horrific to us, but to many countries, where the ruling class considers the everyday citizen to be worthless, those are kitty stats. In countries like North Korea where the people who live and work every day with little pay and even less appreciation, deaths are all too common. Just hours ago the country that is intent on war with the United States lost 200 of their own in a senseless catastrophe. Even after receiving warnings from scientists from multiple countries, North Korean dictator, Kim Jong-un continued nuclear testing at a site that couldn't hold up to the stress and there was a collapse. According to the Federalist Papers, the mountain that collapsed, Mount Mantap, was woven with a series of tunnels which caused it to be too weak to withstand the testing, and collapsed on the hundreds of laborers inside. Despite warnings from the West, South Korea, and China, the petulant tyrants in the Hermit Kingdom of North Korea have continued to conduct nuclear tests beneath Mount Mantap. Scientists have predicted that the constant testing may lead the mountain to collapse on itself. Just as they predicted, a series of tunnel networks has collapsed, and up to 200 Korean laborers are dead. It is not immediately known when the collapse took place, getting exact dates on events in the rogue regime is often difficult because of their isolation. According to a report from The Telegraph, a tunnel network being excavated by about 100 workers collapsed. It was likely shortly after the regime's sixth nuclear test. Another 100 workers at the Pungaira test site attempted to get their co-workers out, but another collapse happened and likely killed them as well. This completely preventable disaster is just another example of why many on the international scene consider Kim Jong-un to be essentially holding the 25 million North Koreans hostage in their own country. The people of North Korea have no say in government or almost anything that affects their lives on a daily basis. In fact, most accounts from those who have escaped the hellish regime's grasp tell of a country that they would rather die than return to. Evidence of an absolute disregard for the citizens that populate the country is manifested in many ways, not the least of which a dictator who is willing to sacrifice as many of them as he needs to get the glory of winning a conflict with one of the superpowers that he desperately wants. President Trump's impending trip to the region is very well timed, considering that the nations surrounding North Korea are finally becoming convinced that the dictator is now entirely out of control. President Trump will hopefully find a solution that both South Korea and China can agree with in order to get a handle on the very volatile situation in the region. Here are more details from our source about the tragedy in North Korea. An exact date for the disaster has not been provided, but it comes shortly after North Korea conducted its sixth, and most powerful, underground nuclear test at the site. Satellite imagery of the site shows damage to the land after the collapse has happened. Such should not be surprising, as we have known for some time that the country's constant nuclear testing could only go on for so long without causing substantial damage to the existing tunnel networks. As we reported earlier in October, the test site is in serious danger of further collapse, and if that happens radioactive fallout would be released throughout the entire hemisphere. Since 2006, North Korea has conducted tested six nuclear weapons tests under Mount Mantab since 2006 at the Pungaira nuclear test facility. Analysts who monitor the 7,200-foot-high peak say the mountain is taking a toll from the tests, now suffering tired mountain syndrome. According to the New York Post, a September blast caused a 6.3 magnitude tremor felt in China. Satellite images show that the mountain visibly shifted from the blast which caused massive landslides and lofted stone and gravel field around the area. The area is now abundant in seismic activity, suffering three more quakes in the short time since North Korea's self-proclaimed H-bomb test.
International officials say the North's claims might not have been exaggerated, as earthquakes generated from the blast indicate a massive thermonuclear explosion. The prognosis of radioactive fallout raining down on North Korea, South Korea, and China, plus many other places in the Far East, is not something to think of as impossible. If the mountain does collapse on itself, the consequences would be absolutely catastrophic. China is not too happy with the North Koreans right now, and I'm sure the idea of radioactive fallout raining down is one of the factors contributing to that. Their incessant nuclear testing has seriously hit a nerve with the Chinese leadership, and they have gone as far as to say that if the rogue regime continues to conduct nuclear tests, the Chinese will wage war against them. Chinese President Xi Jinping has become increasingly frustrated with the behavior of the isolated regime which insists on having a nuclear deterrent against the United States. One more missile test, Chong said, and it would push the country off a cliff. President Jinping was said to be boiling with fury after North Korea recently tested a missile just as China was gearing up to host a pivotal global economic conference. The former U.S. ambassador to China Max Baucus recently claimed the only time he saw the Chinese leader use undiplomatic language was in relation to Kim Jong-un. At this rate, it seems that one of two things may happen. Either the regime will conduct more tests and their test site will collapse, spewing radioactive fallout throughout the region, or, China may be the one to militarily intervene with their neighbors whom, until now, they have been supporting. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. comments.